if your mouse is erratic, if you move it around and the light goes off, comes back on, the cursor appears and disappears, there's a good chance that it's a broken wire and it usually occurs right where the wire enters the mouse from flexing. Please don't attempt this repair if you don't have the proper tools or the expertise to do this project. If you create a short, you could easily damage your computer. Once this repair is complete, you need to plug in the laser mouse wire into the USB and feel of that wire to see if it's getting warm. If it's getting warm at all, unplug it immediately. Also, you should see the light come on immediately when you plug it in. If not, disconnect because it must have a short. A high quality laser mouse is only $25. So just be sure that you can handle this project before you undertake it. Really about the only things that an average person can repair with skills are broken wire or lint covering the slots in the scroll wheel. If you have problems other than that, I doubt that you're going to be able to fix it. Be extremely careful in taking this mouse apart because parts can fall out. All these uh, laser mice are different and uh, if the parts fall out you may have a great deal of trouble finding out where they go. So take it apart very carefully. Take this mouse apart in a clean area where you won't have any trouble finding parts that you may drop. Different brands of mice will have different screw locations. My Dale mouse had just two screws at the front. Your mouse may just snap together with no screws. In that case, you'd need a very thin knife to work around the seam to see if you can pop it open. Remove these pads carefully with a razor blade as described. I cut the wire about four inches from the connector and that would fall right over the circuit board. Then cut out the damaged part of the wire where you think it's broken. Stripping the insulation from small wires like this is not an easy thing to do. I made a small slot in it with a razor blade and my fingernail would easily pull that off the rest of the way. Strip these wires back enough that you can make a connection but also cut the outer uh, shield around these wires back far enough that when you slide your uh, shrink tube in on there that it'll be far enough away from the heat that it won't start to shrink. If you're using shrink tubing and not electrical tape you'll have to slide the little section of shrink tubing over the wire before you solder it Having a very small tip on a soldering iron makes the job go a lot easier. Trying to hold this small wire without a little vise can be really, really hard. You don't have to use shrink tubing. You can use a high quality electrical tape like 3M. Don't forget to put your shrink tubing on the wire before you solder it and try to keep the soldered area as small as possible so as to fit inside the shrink tubing. Continue soldering these wires together as you see here until you have all of them done. The last one being the ground wire, the uninsulated wire. And make sure that your colors match so as not to have a short. And this is the completed wire. You can use tape or shrink tubing over the whole assembly where you spliced it. Hook your connector back up and install the wire in the little groove as shown here. This shows how the detent spring should go in this little assembly that holds the mouse wheel. And uh, here is another view of that. Uh, the round end of that spring rubs against the inside of that scroll wheel and gives it the clicking feel. And this spring is the upward return spring for the little mouse wheel. LED light has to pass through these slots in the scroll wheel, so make sure that you don't have any lint in there. 
lint will cause a problem. Replace the scroll wheel assembly in its bracket, shaft, and spring. And you can do that by sliding that whole assembly down into the little bracket that holds it shown here with the arrow showing the slots. If you have done that properly when you mash down on the scroll wheel, it will pop right back up. And this is just an explanation of how this works. There's an LED light on one side of this scroll wheel and a pickup sensor on the other side. When you have your mouse all back together, test it first. And if everything checks out and it works okay, put the pads back on. Music